And first, a woman has been jailed for eight years for what's been described as wicked child cruelty after her niece was found dead at their home in Nottingham. Kay Ann Morris was Sinead Walker's legal guardian. Nottingham Crown Court heard that Morris manipulated social workers into ignoring warnings from teachers. Sinead's grandmother was also jailed for four years for child cruelty. Tonight, Sinead's mother said she was sickened to know of the pain Sinead would have been in. And she said her other daughters had been denied the chance to get to know their sister. Our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball, reports. Sinead Walker caught on CCTV only hours before her death. A seven-year-old going to the corner shop on her own in her pyjamas. A child who'd been subjected to horrific abuse. Sinead died from a head injury at the house where she lived in Bestwood. The police were told she fell down the stairs. But a post-mortem found Sinead had more than 50 other injuries and the judge said those wounds were caused by a horrendous beating from her aunt. Today, Kayan Morris was jailed for eight years for an offence of child cruelty after a jury cleared her of murdering Sinead. The judge said Morris was wicked and while the jury couldn't be sure that she directly caused the fatal head injury, Sinead had suffered untold misery as her aunt hit her, burnt her and tried to break her like a wild horse. The judge praised staff at Sinead's old school for raising repeated concerns about her cuts and bruises, but he said Morris manipulated social workers into believing she wasn't responsible. Sinead was taken into care because her mother, Leanne Walker, was suffering from depression and anxiety. Today, the police released an emotional statement from Leanne. We will miss Sinead's cuddles, her singing and dancing to Mary Poppins. Her life was cut short before she could become the lovely woman I know she would have grown up into. It hurts me and sickens me to know the pain Sinead would have been in. For a, a two-year period, she subjected her to assaults, to cruelty, to taunting. It's just truly and utterly horrific. The misery that Sinead must have suffered is just utterly unimaginable. Morris was jailed alongside her mother, Juanila Smichael. She was also convicted of child cruelty, but the judge said she played a lesser role and she's been sentenced to four years in prison. He said it was just about the worst case of child cruelty it was possible to imagine. And if Morris hadn't been so good at fooling care workers, Sinead would still be alive. This is such a distressing case, Jeremy. Presumably that's not the end of it. No, still some very serious questions, I think, for the authorities. The judge today said that social workers appear to have been under Kayan Morris's malign spell, believing her excuses when she got Sinead to lie for her, keeping Sinead there despite that mounting evidence from those worried teachers. Now, tonight Nottingham City Council not doing any interviews. That's because there's still going to be a serious case review. And I think that review is going to have to look very closely at whether they should have intervened and whether that might just have saved Sinead Walker's life. Okay, Jeremy, thanks. Thank you.